Well, good morning, students. Sir. Good morning, sir. So, in uh, previous classes, we have seen a couple of things like uh, basis of a vector, independent vectors, rank. Row times column, column times row, their meanings, and a couple of more things. Excuse row me, space, sir. column sir, space. Can you please start the recording? Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. So, there are so many things that we have seen in the previous classes. And uh, but that is not the end. There are so many more things that we need to talk about. <clears throat> One of them is uh, orthogonality. One of them is orthogonality. This particular uh, orthogonal creature comes quite often in linear algebra. Orthogonal, something known as perpendicular. Yeah. And uh, we have already talked about basis. So, basis is a set of independent vectors uh, that spans a space. Now, having said this to basis and orthogonal perpendicular, we have already been talking about one of the basis vector quite often that is known as your the standard basis this is i cap this is j cap and this is k cap in three dimension the standard basis vectors and uh, these basis vectors are again uh, orthogonal to each other, isn't it? And uh, another important uh, properties of this is this I cap, J cap, K cap are of uh, are are unit vectors, or so to say, they are orthonormal. Now for all this uh, orthonormal, uh, yeah, in orthonormal, this is also perpendicular, but then the, it is of unit length. Okay. Now, let us start with uh, this one like uh, Pythagoras theorem. Let us go back to Pythagoras theorem, your school days. P O Y T H. Okay. So mm, let us talk about two dimension first, right? So let us have a vector mm, 
let us have a vector Zero. Let us have another vector three zero. Okay. Or let me draw it here itself three comma zero. This is not three comma zero actually. This is three comma zero. So the resultant vector would be this. So what is the resultant vector? Two comma three. Two comma three. So the length here, the vector length is two. The vector length is three. And what is this length? Two square plus three square is equal to thirteen square. That is the length of the vector thirteen. Uh, no, I mean. I mean the square of the length of the vector. So the length is actually thirteen. Sorry about that. This is how we actually denote it. Um, How we denote it? We denote it in this way. Length is equal to the second norm. We talk it about. It is the norm symbol, and we give you a two. That is the second norm. If we do not give two, also by default it is called as a second norm. And the square of the second norm is equal to. Uh, let us say this is uh, x1, y1. So this becomes x1 square plus y1 square. Okay. Now the same thing can be extended to three dimension also. x1 square plus x2 square plus x3 square or x1 square plus y1 square plus z1 square and like that. So, what is the meaning of all this? Meaning of all this? We have been seeing this base square plus height square, square root of base square plus height square, that is what is the Pythagoras theorem is all about. From here, all those sine theta, cos theta, everything came. Now, let us extend this one. This is, this is in two dimension. This we have been studying from the school level. If we extend this one to three dimension, this becomes um, let me put it uh, as because it is x. Let me put it here. It would be just for the sake of uh, notation, x2, let me put. So up to for n, for n dimension also, it is the same thing. Hello. Yes. So if we are putting square on the norm, then we don't put square root on the right hand side. Oh, tick, tick, tick. Sorry about that. 
करेक्ट ओके सो बेसिकली इट्स अ वेक्टर एक्स इज अ वेक्टर टू कॉमा थ्री हियर इन दिस केस और इन थ्री डायमेंशन केस इट इज एक्स वन एक्स टू एक्स थ्री इन एन डायमेंशन केस इट इज एक्स वन एक्स टू xn now uh, how do we how we are calculating the length that is square root of sum uh, square root of sum of all the squares okay can i write it in this way x transpose x yeah so this x transpose x is the length um, squared length squared length or here if you see this becomes 2 3 2 that is equal to 13 okay Okay, let me have two vectors x and y. Two vectors x and y. Um, how do I know that these two vectors are perpendicular or not? Uh, you can say directly the formula is uh, x transpose y is equal to zero, but then how do we reach that? The simple concept. Sides of the right angle. what this x is actually x is nothing but x1 square plus x2 square x n square plus y1 square y2 square y n square is equal to x1 minus y1 square plus x2 minus y2 square xn minus yn square can i write this right hand side like this let me expand all this a minus b whole square in that form so this becomes x1 plus x n square that is a square plus b square y1 square plus y n square minus 2 times x1 y1 x n y n
left hand side and right hand side if you see this is the extra terms that we have this is the only extra term that we have this is the only extra term that we have and uh, that is what we call it as i have already told you about the <clears throat> inner product or dot product simply we say <clears throat> x dot y yeah your we say x transpose y if this x transpose y is equal to 0 then x y are orthogonal now if they are equal to 0 is there any possibility that uh, uh, this will be less than also 0 what is the implication of this the the next y x and y are orthogonal or they are perpendicular yeah x perpendicular y 90 degree otherwise they form an obtuse angle and acute angle acute means less than 90 right yeah <clears throat> can you tell me one vector uh tell me a vector which is always perpendicular to all the vectors tell me one vector which is always perpendicular which is perpendicular to itself which is uh, perpendicular to every vector that is possible in rn that is the zero vector zero vector is the only vector which is perpendicular to itself further it is perpendicular to um all vectors in r okay few more things that we must know as uh, when do we call the vectors are linearly independent vectors are 
linearly independent when they are um, mutually orthogonal that is uh, if take any vector that is perpendicular to every other vector okay if you recall the very first class very first class we started with ax equal to 0 then we talked about column space uh, row space column and row spaces these are the things we talked about Let me introduce one more space, which is also known as null space. What is a null space? Column space. This is the matrix A. We talk about the uh, space that is spanned by the independent columns of this matrix A. Similarly, independent rows of matrix A. Now let us just analyze this A times X. Here and let us say this is equal to 0. 0 means what? This, this is 0, right? And this is first value, second value, this is nth value. So that means this row 1, row 2, row n, or oh, as many number of rows you have that doesn't matter here like the number of elements in row one has to be n so this row one times x1 is equal to zero or in other words the row space of A times the solution of AX equal to 0 gives you 0. That is how if we can interpret. That means this row 1, if I call this one as one vector, So this vector, uh, I'm sorry, this is not x1, huh? this is x, this complete is x. Row 1 times x. Let me put here dot. Row 1 times x.
rho 1 times x equal to 0. So this vector rho 1 vector and x vector, they are also perpendicular. Right? Inner product. So we have one null space. The null space is nothing but the solution space of the equation AX equal to zero. It is the uh, space um, that contains solution X. This contains null space contains solution X to the equation A x equal to 0 and the row space is orthogonal to null space so the point of saying is this it is not only the vectors which are orthogonal it is the span of those independent vectors are can also be orthogonal. Or in a mathematical term, if I write, this is a column space of A transpose is perpendicular to null space of A. Yeah, one more thing about this orthogonal. This orthogonal uh, has a, they have been, they are being utilized quite a lot. And, uh, Okay, let us talk about this. Uh, have you come across this matrix? Uh, have you ever come across this matrix? Have you ever come across this matrix? What is this matrix is called about?
look at the each column of this matrix uh, what is their property what is the property of this each column let us forget about the matrix talk about each column Sir, 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 there is matrix. Yeah. There is matrix. Uh, I couldn't get it. There is. Sir, excuse matrix, sir. Skew matrix. No, I, I couldn't get it. Sir, you say skew symmetric matrix. skew symmetric matrix what did you say yes sir okay okay let us say this uh, cos theta sin theta transpose cos theta sin theta how much this is So one. One. I've written, I've written only the uh, previous equation. Huh? X transpose Y. And here I have uh, written something. Achha, normal I have not written. Yeah, squared length. X transpose X and all those. Yeah. So cos theta sin theta. This is your X transpose x this is equal to 1 so x transpose x equal to 1 that means this is an orthonormal vector so each column is an orthonormal vector right It's an orthonormal vector. And this matrix is very famously known as a rotation matrix. Rotation. If at all you have studied in graphics, computer graphics, this rotation matrix you must have studied. So, this is, uh, uh, yeah, and uh, what is uh, your, how do I represent that? What is, uh, let us find out, Q transpose Q. Let me call it as Q. Q transpose Q. How much that is? Cos theta minus sin theta, sin theta, cos theta, cos theta minus sin theta, sin theta, cos theta. So that is equal to 1 and this one is cos theta minus sin theta, sin theta, cos theta. This is 0, 0, 1. Or so to say this is equal to identity matrix. So two orthogonal matrices. orthogonal matrix i mean sorry not two orthogonal matrix uh, matrix is orthogonal this 
condition square matrix is orthogonal this condition holds now there is one important property with this orthogonal thing is whenever you use this orthogonal matrix to any vector they do not change the length they only rotate it they do not change the length so for example we have uh, this vector and so let us talk about any vector so let me put a vector at uh, 30 degree hello can you hear me mm, yes sir sir then this mic is working this is something problem this one got stuck this white board yeah so this is theta so whenever we talk about a point um let us say okay let me call this one as uh, 1 comma 0 so what will be the coordinate of this the length of this vector is 1 so this vector length is also 1 and uh, yeah this vector length is also 1 and uh, this value the this value would be cos theta minus sin theta sin theta cos theta 1 0 yeah 
and this is nothing but uh, this is nothing but reflection of a point 1 0 this is Now this is about a point. Uh, this is uh, all about a point one comma zero, and this is something like a reflection about a line, which is which passes at uh, through origin at an angle theta by two, and this one comma zero when rotated by an angle theta makes this particular point, and similarly you can find out about this any any other point, any other point. So it actually rotates the entire plane by an angle theta. And this is one of the uh, very beautiful example of orthogonal matrices. Well, uh, there are a lot many things are there. I will uh, talk about it in the next class. Uh, that's all for today.